Parkinson's link to gut bacteria suggests unexpected, simple treatment. Researchers have suspected for some time that the link between our gut and brain plays a role in the development of Parkinson's disease. A new study just identified gut microbes likely to be involved and linked them with disease riboflavin, that's vitamin B2, the decrease of vitamin B2, and biotin, vitamin B7, pointing the way to an unexpected simple treatment with, that may help, that is, B vitamins. Supplementation of riboflavin and or biotin is likely to be beneficial in a subset of Parkinson's disease patients in which gut dysbiosis plays pivotal roles. Nayoga University medical researcher Hiroshi Nishiwaki colleagues write in their paper, the neurodegenerative disease impacts almost 10 million people globally who at best can hope for therapies that slow and alleviate symptoms. These typically begin with constipation and sleep problems up to 20 years before progressing into dementia and the debilitating loss of muscle control. Previous research found people with Parkinson's disease also experience changes in their microbiome long before other signs appear. So analyzing fecal samples from 94 patients with Parkinson's disease and 73 relative healthy controls in Japan, Nishiwaki and team compared their results with data from China, Taiwan, Germany, and the US. While different groups of bacteria were involved in the different countries examined, they all influenced pathways that synthesized B vitamins in the body. The researchers found that changes in gut bacteria communities were associated with a disease in a decrease in riboflavin and biotin in people with Parkinson's disease. Nishiwaki and colleagues then showed the lack of B vitamins was likely to a decrease in molecules that help create a healthy mucus layer in the intestines. They suspect the weakening protective layer exposes the intestinal nervous system to more of the toxins we now encounter more regularly. These include cleaning chemicals, pesticides, and herbicides. Such toxins lead to increased nervous system inflammation and the overproduction of acinuclein fibrils, fibrils nucle uh, molecules known as AMAS in dopamine production cells and in the substantia nigra part of our brains, eventually leading to more debilitating motor and dementia symptoms of Parkinson's. A 2003 study found high doses of riboflavin can assist in recovering some more functions, motor functions in patients who also eliminated red meat from their diets. So red meat is important for us to eat. So it's possible that high doses of vitamin B may prevent some of the damage Nishiwaki and team propose. This all suggests ensuring patients have healthy gut microbiomes may also prove protective as would reducing toxin pollutants in our environment. Of course, with such a complicated chain of events involved in Parkinson's disease, not all patients likely experience the same causes, so each individual would need to be assessed. We could perform gut microbiota analysis on patients or conduct fecal metabolic analysis, explains Nishiwak, and using these findings, we could identify individuals with specific deficiencies and administer oral riboflavin and biotin supplements to those with decreased levels, potentially creating an effective treatment. The research was published in APG Parkinson's Disease, and this is on Science Alert by Tessa Kumunduros. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.